It was one cloudy Tuesday afternoon when my best friend first introduced me to And since then, I have been slightly addicted. I think there might be something in my teeth. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Always happens. Life. What you see in this video is gonna be a collection of some of the dresses, tops, cardigans that I bought, but I've got a weird personality where I only get addicted to one brand. So for me, that was Opali. I did do a bit of Aritzia because I love Aritzia. Before we begin the vid, I wanted to share with you a really cute pair of heels that a brand called Empress sent me. The premise of the brand is to offer really nice, comfortable shoes, and I picked these cute black ones with some heels which looks like this on and they fit really well and it's not like a hard leather so i feel like it won't destroy my feet that aside let's get to the vid let's kick it off with this wilford top i really love the color and the silky satiny material of it the front tie is also really cute i feel like it was more like a 2000s thing but it it works with this top and I like how it's versatile so you could wear it to the office with a pair of trousers or you could wear it out with a pair of jeans. This is my most recent snag and it's a Babaton cardigan. I think I've seen it on the Aritzia website a few times but I, I don't know why I decided to buy it in the UK. Um, it's a gorgeous knit though, it's honestly such a nice thick knit and the pearl buttons are beautiful and it came in really good condition. Like it still has a little thread pouch on the side so Really good quality. I mean, I can't really wear it because it's getting really hot these days, but in the winter, it would look so good like this with a dress underneath or with jeans and a white tank top. So I went through a phase where I wanted to get really big manly um, dress shirts to wear over my dresses, but this one was a bit of a fail because you actually do need cufflinks for this one, as you can see. It won't actually look good without the cufflinks but it's the perfect size and the color you can match with almost any color of dress which is great this one is part of the same experience but this one's from ted baker and i really like the color on this because you rarely find purple and white striped dress shirts and i think it would look spectacular with gold earrings and a white dress underneath. I feel like that would pop. I also think it'd be cute if you wore it like a real dress shirt and just tucked in the front of it. It'd look super cute and oversized. And this dress has been one of my favorite buys. It's quite a famous TikTok dress, but I managed to snag this for 35 pounds and it was brand new. And I was planning to wear it for my birthday, but I got a bit wimped out because it's so fabulous and I couldn't tell if it would be a bit too extra. I have to say with old poly dresses, I don't know if I like the way the cup sits. Um, on a flatter chest. I just find it enters danger zone because your boobs can't really stay in the cup, so yeah. This purple dress is also from Opali and it was a bit of an underdog because I thought I wouldn't like it that much, but then I put it on as you'll see in a moment and I love it. I love the way it makes me feel very feminine because it's got really flowy sleeves and I like the way it hugs my body. And it also has the ruffles, which I find give a more flattering look than if the fabric was just straight, because then you can see like your underwear line and things so prominently. This is a, another Opali dress. And as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of big princess sleeves, which this dress completely delivers. The only thing is I'm not really sure if I like the front of the dress. I think it's a bit too much cleavage for me and I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it. But as you can see, the sleeve's really cute and it resembles a dress shirt. And I like the way the back fits. It might also be a tiny bit too short for me to feel comfortable, but it's cute. The pattern on this dress is to die for. I genuinely bought it purely for that print at the front. And bonus that it has these flowy sleeves as well. Um, it looks great on and I love the fit of it. I do find like with these, again, the cup, it's not my favorite style, but I like the front of this better because it's got buttons rather than like those, those clips at the front. I saw this dress and immediately thought Little Mermaid vibes. I really like the material of it because it's a really gorgeous satin. 
Upon trying it now, I don't know if I could wear this just casually on the street, but it would be nice for like a nightclub sometime, somewhere. And this dress is my disappointment dress because it looks so good, like the dress is nice, the color's nice, the sequence is nice, but the seller didn't really take good care of it, so it came a bit tattered. And I don't really know how to wear it, like I think this is how it's done. I, I don't know how the front really works because under that flap is a bra and I, I don't know if I've tied it right, but I mean the fabric itself is cute, the dress I'm not sure. And this one's actually from House of CB. I initially bought this because it was Valentine's Day and also because it reminded me of Britney Spears' toxic music video, like when she's in that flight attendant costume. But I also think the top is a bit too intense and I just, I just didn't know if I felt comfortable wearing it casually on a Tuesday night out, but it's cute. And last but not least, this is my birthday dress. I love everything about it, the sleeves, the color, the style. The only thing is the top, it was really hard to keep up. It has no grip, so it just kept sliding down the whole night. So I'd say it's a gorgeous dress that I love, except that it needs a bit of work on the front. That concludes my haul and it was really helpful for me to film this because I didn't try many of the pieces on. I wanted to share some of my tried and true vintage tips that have helped me score really, really nice deals on the app. I don't know so I find, especially with old poly dresses, there's lots of people that sell the same thing. And because the brand doesn't really change their dresses that often, lots of people will sell the same style. So you'll later see this like red bedazzled dress I bought and that one it took me a little while to find because usually people sell it for like 50 pounds and if you wait around a bit you can get like a brand new one for like 30 so mine was brand new and it was only 30 some people were selling theirs like used and it was like 60 and some people were like 90 I mean the dress is 100 pounds but I mean some people will reduce it a lot less than others so i keep my eye out on them that's how you know you've been in love there's an option on the app to bid a price you have five of those a day where you can go on click the item and basically submit a number that you want for an item and then that person can go and approve or disprove whatever you've put forth and in the beginning i use those really quick because even if it's like a pound or two it helps you sh save shave <laughs> it helps you save on the shipping so what I started to do is just do individual messages. So there's an ask seller section where you can ask the seller a bunch of different things. And so I'll just be like, hey, how are you? Like, would you be okay selling this for X amount of money? And then they'll reply being like, yes or no. If you see an item you really like, but the person hasn't put up a picture of them wearing it or anyone wearing it, I usually just message them saying, what does it look like on because i find the main issues of ordering on vintage is you don't actually know what the fabric is like on the outfit so i've seen a few things where i'm like "Ooh, it looks like really nice silk or "Ooh, that looks like such thick quality knit and then it, it's it's not so if you ask them for a picture of it on you kind of see how the item looks like on you but also if you ask for like a picture of the texture of the fabric, you can actually get a more holistic view of what the item looks like. Thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll see you around soon. Have a lovely summer day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not even sleep deprived. I have actually no excuses for this. Thanks for watching. Bye. Tonight we could do this right We'll find the